Gabriel Kisachi is four years old. A few days ago, he was just like this child, a normal, healthy young boy. Then he was bitten by an anopheles mosquito. Now, he is desperately ill with malaria. The disease has taken hold. The next few hours will tell whether Gabriel lives or dies. Malaria kills almost 3,000 people in Africa every day, every single day. One million lives a year, one million individual preventable tragedies. But an innovative program with a logical solution has begun to help Africa prevent its malaria catastrophe. That program is called NETMA. Kampala, Uganda, the children's ward at the Mulago Hospital. Gabriel Kisachi has been convulsing. It's a grave sign. The malaria parasite has reached his brain. Now, he's in a coma. So this particular child has a almost close to three day history and is already very sick. He's um, deeply comatose. Nearly every child in this ward is suffering from malaria. It is a tragedy being played out in hospitals, clinics, and homes all across sub-Saharan Africa. Half of all children born in Africa will contract malaria. One child in every 20 will die of the disease before reaching the age of five. So he just, was just, he just had another convulsion. Three hours since Gabriel was admitted, he's showing no improvement. I would, I would put his case at 48 hours. The worst case scenario is that he's likely to succumb and he might die. And with each convulsion, you have increasing damage to the brain. Morning breaks over Kampala. In the children's ward at Mulago Hospital, there is an empty bed. Gabriel Kisachi has died. Because he began to have difficulty in breathing, which we think is most likely due to damage the respiratory center. And he passed away at about 4 a.m. this morning. Gabriel's parents grieve, and all across Africa, parents like them suffer a similar tragedy. A child dies of malaria every 30 seconds. The true tragedy is that Gabriel's death was preventable. A week ago, he was a young boy about to start school. But a single bite from a mosquito as he lay sleeping has brought his future to an end. I, I, you know, you can never get used to a child, to a child dying because first of all, when you think about it, they're dying from conditions that are totally preventable. In the children's ward, another child is deathly ill. Malaria's grim cycle begins again. Netmark was established by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, as part of a global effort to reduce the terrible burden of malaria in Africa. Implemented by AED, 
a non-profit human and social development organization, Netmark focused on a simple and proven method of preventing malaria, insecticide-treated mosquito nets known as ITNs. Starting in 1999, Netmark has worked in eight sub-Saharan African countries, Mali, Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Uganda, and Zambia. In each of these countries, it was the accepted role of public health authorities and development agencies to somehow get ITNs to those at risk of malaria. Most often, it was through free net distribution. There's a time when free will stop, and when it stops, then what, what next? You know, so it's very important to uh, know that uh, the issue of sustainability is the, is the key. Netmark developed a sustainable strategy it called Full Market Impact, which had three steps. To educate African consumers about the life-saving properties of insecticide-treated nets, to make nets commercially available throughout Africa retail markets so they will be available forever with or without donor support. And finally, to make subsidized and free ITNs available to those who cannot afford to pay fully commercial prices. By sharing the burden of net distribution between the public and the private sectors, Netmark planned to use the best of both worlds to break malaria's grip on Africa. We believe that the private sector has its expertise, and in the same way, the public sector has unique expertise that the private sector can never have. But first, Netmark had to convince international net and insecticide manufacturers like Bayer, Vistagard Fransen, Siam Dutch Tanner, A to Z Textiles, BASF, Sigenta, Sunflag and Sumitomo that there was a potential retail market for ITNs. Not an easy task given that the awareness and usage of insecticide treated nets in Africa at the time was almost non-existent. When we started here uh, in the early 2000, uh, the culture of using net was not anything that anybody took very seriously. Before Netmark came along, major international net manufacturers like Vestergaard sold ITNs mainly to institutions like aid agencies and governments, but not the consumer retail market. So we were actually able to convince them that going into the retail market will not mean killing your institutional business. It will actually be expanding your market size and bringing in more resources. And there will be a lot of incentives such as free advertising and, and, and education to, to, the, to the population on, on how to use the net. And they, they will be responsible to, for that. And we should be responsible for the marketing and distribution. So we felt that this was a very good marriage. And therefore, we decided to go out and, and, and get involved in it. 